Dialogues have multiple pages, each containing prompt and responses. And depending on the response on one page, it can change to the next page that becomes available. An application of a dialog would be doing a customer satisfaction survey, and that's what I'll be showing in this video. We'll first select an account, and to run a dialog with this account, we'll go up to the top right and select Start Dialog. We'll choose to run the customer satisfaction process. So this is just a welcome page, so it doesn't require any actions, so I'll just select Next. This is the first question within our dialog. It's asking to what degree of satisfaction the customer had with the services that we provided. So for this example, I'm going to keep it as very satisfied. And let's say that the customer is interested in doing a video testimonial. So since they're interested in doing a video testimonial, we'll be able to ask them for the date and time that they're available and then input it to the calendar. So let's say they're available June 22nd. at 2.30 p.m. And that's the end of our dialog. So we'll select Finish. Now if we want to start another dialog, and this time let's say that the customer is not satisfied. Since they're not satisfied, there's a large text box to input their concerns. So we'll put in over budget. We'll then select next. So now on this page, their response will be sent to a relationship manager so that they can follow up with them. Their description will also be posted to the company record so that we can see it whenever we go into the company record. This page is also to prompt the person doing the customer satisfaction survey that they should inform the person that someone will be following up with them soon. I'll then select Next. So that's the end of the dialog. Now if I refresh the page, we'll be able to see their description underneath Satisfaction Concerns. And that's how a dialog can work with a Customer Satisfaction Survey.